Uh, hi, I'm John Martin. On board the Hot Wheels Car Care Products Walkinshaw GD3 Porsche. This is the first wet lap of Tail and Bend, the new Bend 7.7k circuit. Quite interesting uh, start to the lap. If you leave the pits, it was quite slippery, so I just uh, let it eat in every gear I could. Down to turn one, obviously not much grip here, just trying to uh, suss it out, but at the same time uh, have as much fun as possible. Through yeah. two, into three, again, just like having a look around, there's no, uh, obviously, zero grip. It's uh, crazy slippery. In third gear, just rolling around testing out here this is obviously quite slippery in the dry so I wasn't really sure how it was going to go down into T6 it's uh, just like the, the line obviously there was like quite icy used first gear here on the outlap probably should have been second a bit of wheel spin then up through seven it's uh, actually quite a bit of grip down into eight just again just trying to survive at the moment then into nine this bit's quite cool and dry, it's uh, quite a lot of uh, opposite lock through here. It's good fun, not much, not very fast though. Um, through 12 into 13, There's so many corners, I'm nearly lost. Liam Talbot here. It's uh, it's a pretty interesting circuit, it actually has two bits of uh, character. There's a big GP track to start with, and this second part of the track, it starts to get a bit narrow, it gets a bit twistier, gets a lot more technical, so really there's there's only one line through here, so when you're trying to pass someone in the race, you, you get a bit frustrated because you're going to have to wait behind, especially the GT4 cars, we have to consider the traffic this year, even uh, when we're lapping the outright cars, you just, uh, just need to be really careful through here. This next part of the circuit's really cool, it's very technical, and it drops away, so it's really hard to pick up the apex. Especially Every, in the wet. Oh. Every time you're sort of going, am I too early or too late? And you're just hanging on for dear life, which is really cool, actually. Not, not having to always know that line. It's just, it's very unpredictable and very technical. Through here, again, it's pretty cool. There's a, another starting grid here and it doesn't get used very often, often. So as you can see, it's quite slippery. A lot of white lines too. Painted lines, not good in the wet. Exactly. Unless you're a drift car. <laughs> which this thing pretty much has turned into at the moment. Yep. A lot of lines through here, like it's pretty open and flowing like Paul Ricard in the, in the last sector, so it sort of flows and flows and all of a sudden it just tightens with no uh, features for reference. So uh, as a driver, you've got to think about this at all times and, you know, who's behind you, who you're trying to overtake, you need to think two corners ahead. But again, like as Liam said before, it's like quite hard to pass through here. Now we're rejoining the start of the, the sort of international loop now. And uh, this is normally fourth gear down to third and fire it in, but in the rain, obviously, as you can see, it's uh, extremely slippery. There's a bit of a river that runs across the road here, which uh, certainly you know you're alive when you run through that in the rain. It's just awesome, these technical corners that you dive in, but then you need to think about the next part of the track to think about the placement of your car. There's a lot of, like most of the corners as well, are all like, uh, you can sort of see the entry and maybe the apex, but you don't know where the exit is. So until you've done a couple of laps, it's, it's extremely difficult to really know where you're going. This doesn't show it, but it's quite a tight corner. It actually turns back on itself a little bit. And then the next corner looks identical, but it's it's really flowing. So there's a lot of places we can catch, each, uh, catch ourselves out. And during the race, you know, you might be under the pressure trying to overtake someone or be overtaken and you're going to uh, lose sight of where you are. So it's quite a exciting but challenging circuit at the same time. And that's a lap of, uh, yeah, the new Bend circuit here at Tail and Bend. Hashtag epic. <laughs>